Hey there folks, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me in the last stretch of this series. It's been a long one, so we're just gonna get right to it. Let's check out some old school Lord of the Rings miniatures, as well as those really cool vintage specialist games. So let's get to it. Roll it. All right, last part of this book. Lord of the Rings strategy battle game, and there's gonna be some specialist game stuff in the back as well. I actually haven't played Lord of the Rings Strategy Battle game, uh, despite just being obsessed with Lord of the Rings, period. Um, I've always loved Lord of the Rings, but this was kind of during a period of my life where I fell out of the hobby for a bit. I feel like everybody has that um, at some point, uh, but you know, the, the, the pull is too strong. They always come back. <laughs> um, but a lot of these miniatures are, are still are still like current, I feel like. like this, I know this end has been replaced for sure. Um, I don't think you can get the old one, the old tree beard, but yeah, it's a very cool model, but the new one's just amazing. So good. Yeah, like there's newer sculpts of like the Nine, the Fellowship, and like the Ring Wraiths, I believe, but you can still purchase the old ones, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, isn't this the same Isildur that you can buy right now? I feel like I feel like that's the case. I feel like um, stuff gets rotated out of Warhammer or like replaced with new sculpts, like Warhammer Fantasy, 40k, Sigmar, whatever, a lot more often than it happens with Lord of the Rings, specifically. Um, like a lot of these models, like they, they're they're quite dated. Like you can tell, like the new stuff is a lot more dynamic or detailed, etc. But these still look amazing. They look great. So this this is a different end than the other one. Are they different sculpts? Are they? Is this is John Mary Marciota's tree beard won first place in Lord of the Rings large model category at the 2004 Canadian Games Day Golden Demon. I think that's the one I might have attended. No, that would I would have been. No, I think I would, would have been too old for that one. Yeah, I don't think I was in the hobby during that period. But yeah, two two different tree beards. It looks like unless that one was a conversion or something. But yeah, some cool stuff here. Warriors of Rohan. Like this King of Gondor, Aragorn, I think you can still get that one too. I'd love to paint some of these models. I think like I like I didn't get into it back in the day because I just wasn't really in the hobby and I haven't gotten into it since I've been back in the hobby just because the community around me for this game isn't as big as it is for other games. Although it's kind of funny that I say that because I don't really game nearly as much as I paint these days. Uh, I paint a lot more than I game. Um, so I guess I shouldn't really care about the gaming as much, but something in my mind just makes me say, oh, it's gotta be an army. I can't just buy one cool model. I gotta have an army to play the game. And then I never play the game. <laughs> this is a awesome set, the Sauron box. That's so cool. I'd love to do a little diorama out of that or something. Balrog. I feel like there is a newer Balrog than that, but it doesn't look much different. I don't know. I, I can't quite remember, to be honest. Tell me down below um, if there is a new one or not. I feel like it, if there is, it's very similar to that old one. I always thought the Ur Urukai were really cool. I'd like to paint a bunch of those Berserkers. Yeah. Something about those guys, they're just, they're so vicious. Love them. Really cool. Oh, that's an awesome model. I love that. Jeez. That base. Whew, brutal. Easterlings, I love that like pseudo samurai kind of thing they got going on. It's really cool. Really nice stuff. And I love those models too. Those big, beefy Mordor Urukai. Oh, the 
controls. So these are blisters. So were they metal models? Maybe, or maybe like a metal plastic combo or something. The Mouthosauron, oh man. He was so creepy in the, in the movie. So cool, love it. The dwarfs. These models, I, I don't know. I'm not like as big of a fan of, of these models. Like I like dwarves in, in Lord of the Rings. I think they're cool, but these sculpts, I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% sold on them, to be honest. And I do like dwarves, like period. Fair white. So you got Tom Bombadil and Goldberry. That's awesome. That'd be a cool little thing to do up in the barrows. Big catapult. I've never been a fan of painting, uh, painting <laughs> uh, siege artillery type stuff like that. Although I do have some uh, Cities of Sigmar cannons that I need to get painted up. Uh, I might do one of those soon just because it look, looks pretty cool. I just don't like painting that kind of stuff. I prefer to paint like skin, textures, you know, more interesting things, less structural stuff. <clears throat> Gotta love the Muma kill. That's That would be a project to paint. Like how many models are on that? Like they're just what I can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably at least a couple more on the other side. 10, 11, 12 maybe. And then of course the Mukil itself, which is pretty badass. Let's be honest. Come on, that's cool. Very cool. I like the Troll Chieftain as well. Pretty sweet model. Scouring of the Shire. Gotta love some hobbits. <laughs> they look pretty scrappy. Love their axes. Golfimble. I don't remember who he is. Tell me down below who he is, because I'm gonna forget for sure to look him up. And that is just an awesome sculpt. Just like a fat little goblin. Got Shelob. We are proud to serve alongside men once more. It's a great scene. That's awesome. The, the troll one's pretty sweet. Same with this battle scene. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, oh, that's it, eh? Wow, Lord of the Rings is super short. So we're gonna get into some of the specialist games now. So I always liked the specialist games. I thought they were super cool. Um, back in the day, it felt like like Games Workshop just didn't really hold on to them for very long. At least that's how it seemed to me. Belfleet Gothic, like I've never seen anybody play this game, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, but models themselves, I don't really find them that interesting to paint, which is why I've never picked them up. I've had some chances to get some of those models, but I just, I don't think I would have a fun time painting them. But the game, I, I've, I've heard is very good. Blood Bowl, gotta love Blood Bowl. T tell me what, which of these games you guys most enjoyed or in, still enjoy or miss down in the comments because some of this stuff is, I think, the most um, nostalgic to me. It's just very like, man, you don't see this stuff anymore, and it's 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 so cool, so cool. Do you did you play Balthy Gothic? Let me know. Bubble? Any of these? I love Bubble. I think it's very cool. I've played the the video games a lot. Um, 
and the tabletop game just a couple times. But I think it's just such a such a cool world. It's so funny. I love a little bit of silly in in my life, and uh, Blood Bowl's got that. That's for sure. It's just a great game too, and something maybe I can trick my brother into playing. He loves his sports, so that might that might work. Same with my brother-in-law, old Maddie. Maybe I can get him to play. <laughs> Epic Armageddon. I thought I thought this was so cool back in the day. I never had any of it. Because, I mean, when you're a kid, you, you don't have everything. Like, nowadays, I'm like, oh, new thing. Get it. Um, but back then, you know, you had to pinch your pennies to get, you know, one box of Marines or whatever. Um, but I always thought Epic was so cool. And, uh... Yeah, it's just, just now they have uh, Legion's Imperialis or something or whatever, what, whatever the new one's called. I can't quite remember. It's got a weird name. Um, 30K. I don't know. I don't really care so much about 30K. 30K stories are, are cool, the books and everything. But just there's so much more interesting stuff to play with in 40K. Because you get all the Xenos and all that stuff, you know. But... Yeah, Epic is very cool. Inquisitor. Oh. Inquisitor is my, my personal favorite uh, specialist game for sure. Uh, I loved Inquisitor. If you don't know what it is, it's, it's kind of like what if Warhammer D&D, sort of. It uh, has very granular rules. So you do things like, like you, you control a small warband of characters, and um, everything is measured in, on their turn. Like you can peek around a corner and aim down your weapon and uh, do all kinds of things. You can interact with the environment. You can like shoot at like a a barrel of acid or lava or something, and have it pour out and you know hurt one of the enemies that are nearby it or you know try and drown someone or whatever there's like there's like rules for everything in inquisitor it's so detailed um, it's very very cool it used uh, 50 was it 54 72 millimeter models 54 millimeter models um, so they're a larger scale which was really cool although they weren't quite as detailed as they could be nowadays, because this came out like what 2000 or something. I can't can't quite remember, and only stuck around for a year or two. But great game, and there's a big community behind it still. I believe there's like free rules online. Finding the rule book itself is um, a little tricky. I've been trying to find one for a decent price myself, and one day I will snag that. But yeah, great game. I had a couple of, of the models when I was a kid. I always thought they were so great. My brother had this Artemis model. I had uh, Eisenhorn. I thought that model was so cool. And the Covenant, the Inquisitor Covenant or something like that. This guy actually in the back. Not very cool too. Mordheim, I've never played, but I've heard so many good things about. Um, I'd love to give it a shot for sure. Very old school looking models because it's, it's a fairly early specialist game for them, wasn't it? I'm not sure when it came out, but like it's uh, it's an older one for sure. Necromunda. I didn't really know anything about Necromunda when I was a kid. Um, I obviously do now, and I think Necromunda is great and very cool. Um, very punky. I love the punky aspect of it. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it's great. Some of these older models are just so cool. Like this this thing, this rat thing. That is that is awesome. I would love to paint that up. That's so cool. There's so much character and all the different gangs. Uh, just very very cool game. Um, very detailed too. In, in kind of like Inquisitor, but not really. Um, more detailed in like. The, yeah, I guess I guess both on the battlefield and outside of it, and how you manage your gang um, in, in a campaign. But yeah, it's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Got a bit of a rough throat right now. 
<sighs> War Master, basically the epic fantasy, from what I understand. And I always thought it looked really cool too. But, you know, didn't have the dollars. But lately I've been really wanting to try and paint something small like this. I've seen a few really cool, like eight 15 millimeter model ga games recently. Then I really want to try some of that stuff out. I don't want to. I don't want to do the 30k one. Uh, it doesn't really interest me too much, to be honest. I'm kind of over Marines, but some fantasy stuff that'd be so cool. That'd be great to paint up. I would love that. Those giants too. <laughs> that might, must be like just a normal size mini, basically, like a 28 mil, 25 mil. Uh, there's supplies. Oh man. So you can see, man, this, these books were so classic back in the day. Such great hobby books. So it wasn't so much on, on the internet really, right? Like that was early days. So books were where it was at and these were like hot ticket items, man. All kinds of cool stuff in those books. How to make terrain and paint minis and just paint space marines. <laughs> All their old rattle cans like this such a nostalgic can style like i love those Ugh. and you gotta have that chaos black just black primer so it wasn't even called chaos black at that point just black primer but then all the other ones have like you know cool names except for the white i guess yeah i don't think i ever used their matte varnish back in the day oh wow that's all the colors they had back in the day. That is not many colors. <laughs> Jeez. They had a gloss varnish back in the day though. Gloss varnish, but they didn't have a matte? No matte? Hmm, interesting. Like three reds, two oranges. This is kind of orange-y. Um, wow, like very limited palette. But like you can obviously mix things up and you know get whatever you want. But yeah, compared to today, you've got your contrast, your or dry paint still a thing. I don't know your shades, your layers, your whatever. Um, yeah, the inks were amazing. They were so they're so much better than the washes, in my opinion. I love. I mean, they they're they're for different things, but. I just love, I love working with inks. They're just so dense and nice. They flow so well. Mm. Look at that paint set. You don't really see that anymore. Huh. Okay. Oh, modeling tools. These are all such throwbacks to you. Like these aren't even like really branded. Like, like these just yellow handle, no like Games Workshop logo on them or anything. Like nowadays everything is like proprietary, right? Like obviously these would be, but it's just not how GW would do it now. I feel like these things were great. The hot wire tools. I mean, you can just get them at a a craft store or whatever now but I think you could I don't know these just like you threw a couple of, couple batteries in there twisted the bottom and then yeah you got this hot wire to cut through foam they worked really really well and there's just green stuff like same same old same old they did brand their their tape measure though so that thank god thank god they did that <laughs> The old scenery, these wall packs, like everybody had those. They're very cool. The hedges and walls. The old woods were really solid. The movement trays. I wonder if they're gonna be selling those again. They must be, right? Old world, they gotta be selling these again. For sure. That's a nostalgic feel, putting square, square based models on a movement tray and then painting up the edges and everything blocking the edges of the movement tray. <laughs> I miss their old logo, the little 
It's like a squig. Is it a squig face? Goblin squig face? I don't know. That's like the shield on the Cruel Boys. Isn't it? Like, isn't that the symbol that they have on their shields? I don't know. Look at that, all the base sizes. That's cool. Very cool, epic bases. Huh, I've never seen those in my life. War Master bases. Some interesting ones here. The old Dreadnought base. Like these are just bases, I don't know why I'm so interested in them, but yeah, the big chariot base, large regiment bases. I don't remember what those were for. Huh, and the small ones. Direct services. Shipping and handling costs. Orders up to $20. $100 over? Free, baby. That's really cheap shipping. Like, I don't, I'm not from the US or U UK, I guess this would probably be. No? The continental US. Yeah. Is there a UK? No? Yeah, it's very cheap, very cheap shipping. Back in the day, US Direct Services Information. Call these numbers, guys. Call these numbers, see what happens. Here's all the stores back in the day. All the, uh, all the games workshops that existed. I wonder how much bigger this list is nowadays. Rogue Trader Retailers. All across North America, hobbyists can find independent retail shops, also called Rogue Trader Stores, that carry Games Workshop products. So is that like any friendly local game store that was carrying um, Games Workshop stuff was considered a Rogue Trader Retailer? That's kind of funny. <laughs> now it's just like, if you're a hobby shop, you're either selling it or you're doing magic. <laughs> uh, Games Day. Games Day was amazing. Haven't seen one in Canada in a long, long time. Get your White Dwarf subscription. I wonder if you could take this and submit it. Games Workshop Online. Yeah, not anymore. That's the old website. Oh, that's retro. Woo. And we're done. And that's a wrap. Thanks a lot for following along in this series, folks. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but I really wanted to give these old school vintage miniatures the time of day that they deserve. Plus I wanted that time to reflect on them myself and just, you know, have a good time with these videos. So thanks again for watching. I'm not gonna make this any longer than it needs to be. Like, subscribe, comment, all those social media things. And until next time, paint today for a better tomorrow. Peace out.